Well, for the last couple of years, I've been wanting to get a shot of uh, poppy fields, but I've never really known the location of them. I've seen a few images online this week, and uh, one of the people, or one of the images I saw was with a, a person in that I knew. So uh, I've asked them where it is, and I've got a rough idea. So I'm off later on in the week, but today I thought I'd uh, nip down and try and find the location of this field. Um, to see whether or not uh, I can find it and what it would be like for maybe a sunset shoot next time I'm off um, one evening. So I'm just on my way now to see if I can find it. Well, I think I've managed to find it, but uh, parking is going to be a bit of an issue if you come down here at sunset time, I think, because there's bound to be more than just myself. And it's a really narrow uh, road and there's not anywhere that I can see at the moment immediately obviously to park but uh, this is this is the field here of poppies I'm just coming onto now there's a gate on it and I'm not sure if it's like public access or not well I found the field today's a bit windy and as you can see the poppies are, are moving around all over the place which would make uh, taking a picture quite difficult you'd have to have quite a, a fast shutter speed to capture them sharp um, but like I said my plan is to come down here one evening and try and get a sunset shot um, it looks quite nice might be worth a visit see if I can find uh, a couple of compositions while I'm here and just prepare for uh, I think it's probably going to be Friday evening I've come down today's um, Tuesday so I'm just doing a bit of a recce to find out um, you know, where to come, where to park and uh, maybe eye up a couple of compositions. Well, I just bumped into uh, another photographer that uh, has come down today uh, just to try and catch something. Um, that he was talking to somebody in a week who said that he believes that the farmer may plough the field in at some point this week. So I'm only hoping that um, he doesn't do it before Friday, otherwise I'll come to a, a very nicely ploughed empty field. <laughs> That would be my luck. Oh, we had a quick uh, quick go with a drone and uh, I'm not sure what the footage is going to be like, it's not very cinematic, it's quite, quite windy out here and it's harsh, middle of the day sunlight, but uh, we'll come back Friday evening and just hope that he hasn't ploughed the field. It's time to go and find out whether or not the farmer's ploughed his field in or not, or whether there's still any poppies left. I think we struck um, quite lucky. There's a, a group of other photographers here that uh, heard the same rumour that the farmer was going to plough the field in at uh, some point this week. And apparently, according to some of the photographers there, they were saying there's a, a bit of growth left in the poppies, so he's not ploughed it in yet. Um, looking quite clear, a nice blue sky. And the sun is uh, setting. We've probably got a good hour, hour and a half um, until sunset, so we'll see what we can get and have a wander around, try and get a couple of compositions. I've watched a couple of um, YouTube videos lately, uh, Thomas Heaton. Uh, and a guy called Gary from Reef Photography and I'll uh, try and put a link up to, to Gary's Reef Photography page up here somewhere um, and they were both talking about ICM this intentional camera movement images and it's something I've never done um, so I thought I'd have a go and at the moment I'm uh, in this poppy field so I've got an exposure of about 1.3 seconds um, with an aperture of 5.6 and that's using the Lee Little Stopper, her little six stop ND filter 
um, to extend the shutter speed. Um, and all I'm doing is taking an image fairly close up of the poppy and then while it's exposing during that 1.3 seconds is I'm zooming in and zooming out um, just seeing what kind of effects I can get. Um, if I get a decent one I'll, I'll pop it up on the screen for you now, see what you think. Out in this poppy field, um, in kind of Whitfield area, which is um, Dover, that kind of way, and it's a beautiful field, loads and loads of poppies everywhere, but it's really, really difficult trying to find a composition that I like. Um, yeah, you can try two thirds poppies, one third sky, or two thirds sky, one third poppies, and that's nice, but trying to find something a little bit different maybe trying to isolate the poppies is really quite difficult because there's so many poppies there's always something towards the edges of the frame which kind of spoil the composition but uh, we'll keep looking well that's it for tonight what's the time now Time's now 9.37, uh, the sun dipped down below the horizon probably 15-20 uh, minutes ago but no real colour in the sky and it was really really tricky trying to photograph this poppy field uh, I wasn't really anticipating it being quite so quite so tricky there's uh, yeah, masses of poppies but I think that, that may even be the problem there's, there's too many um, it's really really difficult to try and isolate a group of poppies with anything in the background. Um, I tried a bit of the ICM, I'm not quite sure how that's going to turn out. But, uh, I only put one up on the screen if they're any good. <laughs> or yeah, I might even put one up just to show what I did manage to get. Um, it's been a nice evening, it's been nice to get out and we'll Try and get out here on another location soon. Um, it's a bit of a strange vlog this one because there were some uh, people around and I'm not uh, not really used to talking to a camera let alone to a camera in front of people so um, I guess that's going to come with with time and just getting out and practicing so bear with me I'll try and uh, keep practicing and keep getting out um, there you go hopefully we'll get out soon and I'll see you again on the next one